and the Falcons in week three. Atlanta's lost five straight since then. Chris Chandler, Reggie Kelly across the middle. He's at the three and he fumbles. And Doug Evans is there for Carolina. It's a 6-3 Carolina game at the half. Can anybody score? Fourth quarter, 12-3 Carolina. Jamal Anderson does two yards. They can't go for three, so they go for one. They make it 12-10, Tom. And a 13-play 80-yard drive makes it a two-point game in Atlanta. Next possession, Carolina. Steve Burlock. Back to pass. Picked off by Ray Buchanan from Louisville. Inside the 10-yard line they go. And so with the miscue, here comes Atlanta. Third and goal at the six. Hannibal Navies anchors away, makes the sack. Great effort here by Navies. You're going to see Jamal Anderson come up and step up the block, and he goes right. Navies coming left, but look at the effort as he goes right over the block, gets Chandler by the legs, and brings him down for the sack. So Morton Anderson comes on to kick, a 31-yard field goal. Good! And with 2.53 to go, Atlanta leads at 13-12. Burline back to pass. This time it's Ed Jasper. Not from Wyoming, but Jasper makes the hit. Burline fumbles, and Travis Hall falls on it. Rich Brooks, defensive coordinator, thrilled. But when Morton Anderson, usually automatic for 42 yards, hits the upright, it's still 13-12. You've known that look, right? I've seen that look before. <laughs> So Carolina just needs a field goal to win it. They've already kicked four. But Furline doing a good job of just keeping the play alive. Fires it. What are you going to do? Knock it down. Knock it down. Unless you are Ray Buchanan from Louisville. <laughs> he had a pair of interceptions and a third one come back on a flag. You know, Atlanta can do nothing except beat Carolina. And Carolina can do nothing except beat San Francisco. Atlanta went to 13. Well, and Jamal Anderson at 25 carries for the 90 yards. They made a couple of mistakes in the red zone, but Atlanta has this team's number.